Hey guys, this is Dave with Classic Gamers HQ uh, doing a quick little uh, overview on the new YouTube setup. As you've noticed, all you YouTubers out there, uh, YouTube has changed the layout of their entire site. So now your home page looks completely different. It's got a little sidebar, kind of like uh, kind of like Facebook now. Um, a lot of us out there would definitely say that they're uh, they're trying to steer toward a, a Facebook type look. Um, it, it's going to be kind of a love hate thing. Um, it's going to grow. It's personally, it's going to have to grow on me. Um, it's just yet another thing you have to get used to. You know, in the long run, it, it, it might be something that's a lot better than the old interface, but obviously YouTube felt there needed to be a change, and they've done it. Um, I personally haven't seen, I didn't see it coming. There, there was no headlines that I personally read of YouTube saying, oh, by the way, we're about to change our entire interface. Get ready for it. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a little bit different. I'm going to break this down into a couple of different videos as I discover what is different and what works within this new interface. This video is going to be specifically focused on subscriptions, and this is a really nice change from the way subscriptions showed up on your home page before. And, and I'm really kind of a fan right off the bat of the way uh, the way it's or what it's morphed into so far. So what you got is you got kind of like an activity bar on the side here. You got suggested channels down at the bottom. You got your uh, YouTube uh, uh, statistics here, you know, trending, what's popular, music, entertainment, and, and whatnot. Then you got your subscriptions over here on the side. Now, these are, um, it, it shows what, uh, about six of the subscriptions not sure exactly how to change that. I'd like to. I'd like to be able to show more of my subscriptions if possible, but I don't. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I mean, you can click here and it'll show a lot more, but I'd like a little bit more flexibility on how many of these um, clickable um, links show up on this sidebar here. To me, this is too many. When you click more, when you click li less, this is this is too little. I'd like to show maybe about three more on the page maybe about down to this point so if that was a little more flexible I'd be a lot more happy with it now to change your subscription uh, content on your little uh, activity bar here fairly simple you just uh, click on the subscriptions link at the top right here and you come up to this subscriptions uh, page right here. Okay, so we're at our all subscriptions page, and um, it took me a few minutes to figure this out. This is really kind of a poor layout and a poor way of of, um, of handling which subscriptions you want to favorite on your home page. I would have preferred that they um, they did this a completely different way, but let, let me show you what I'm talking about. You see, I got my favorite subscriptions over here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got ten of them total. Um, that's what they allow is ten total of your favorite subscriptions, and they're shown over here on the left. Now, this is the way I would prefer it. If I want to change, say, my number one subscription up here, I would have rather been able to click on it and then go over here on the side and to be able to pin which one I want to take its place. Instead, I've got to find DSP Gaming in my list here, okay, since I can't click on it here on the left. So i got to find DSP Gaming, scroll down, scroll down, unclick him, and it makes these pins on everything else I've subscribed to available to me. All right, see... See, look over here now. DSP Gaming's gone, which uh, no offense, um, Phil, but I'm putting you back in my list. This is just for an example. If you're watching this video, um, so now to take DSP Gaming's place, let's say I want College Humor. Boom! I click that. College Humor takes its place, but it gets added down to the bottom. So it rotates. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose. I can choose. Let's say um, Locker Gnome. 
Uh, and Chris, no offense against you. This is just a prime. This is just an example for this video. I'm putting you back <laughs> in my sub box. I'm I'm sitting here clicking my favorites, my top five here for some reason. But let's go to Locker Gnome. Okay. I gotta scroll all the way down. Luckily, it's in alphabetical order here. At least I think it is. Yeah, it's it's now. Okay, so I click here. And what it does on the left hand side, I'm sitting there pointing to the screen like you can see me. Uh, what it does here on the left hand side is it, it gets rid of Locker Gnome and it gives me an available space at the bottom so I can add, uh, say, uh, Circo. And voila, it adds Circo at the bottom and Locker Gnome is now gone. So my gripe is there's no way to rearrange your um, 10 count list that's going to show up on your home page. I wish you could just click on one of these and drag them around but obviously you see here you can't. So you got to find in conclusion to rearranging your subscriptions list for your home page is you've got to find which subscription you want to get rid of click on the pin button and then find find the subscription you want to take its place in the within your sub list and click on the pin button again so I want to get rid of uh, epic meal time I know I'm an asshole for wanting to get rid of epic meal time but here we go as an example wham epic meal times gone your pins show up gone okay and um, let's go ahead and add corridor digital boom he shows up at the bottom so that's how you arrange your subscriptions box uh, or your subscriptions links that are going to show up on your home page click on YouTube here goes back to the home page and as you can see there are my first five choices and if I want to show more I click on the more link and it shows the rest of my subscription or it shows more subscription links here um, all the way up to 20 uh, all the way up to 20 20 links now I wish this was customizable as well like I was saying earlier I wish you could uh, choose the count of links that show up in this bar maybe YouTube will change that later but uh, until then I guess we gotta deal with it alright this has been a um, this has been a Classic Gamers uh, HQ video on the new YouTube layout. Uh, definitely give your input on yay or nay. Do you do you like the layout? I'm I'm digging this idea right here. I like the little Facebook uh, activity feed thing going on here with links, um, but it definitely has bugs and um, and YouTube needs to work it out. Uh, among some other little issues that they have with uh, partners and, and ads, but that's a whole other video on its own. So thank you for watching uh, my video on subscription um, rearrangement or subscription prioritizing of the YouTube homepage layout. Uh, until next time, keep it classic.